Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm just going to be explaining my new plugin TinkerX which is a plugin inspired from the Tinker's Construct mod and basically adds a new system uh, to create tools and new tools that can be added to your server. Now this video I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible just to show off all the features, all the things that you can customize and I'll be doing another video on how to edit the configuration file for this plugin so you can get adding your own tools and make it how you want to make it. So the first block that you can uh, customize and add to your your server which is the main block is the Stoneforge which has a default crafting recipe of this. So if I quickly put this into here magma, lava, glass. I've got a stone forge and you get your bucket back. So let me just put this back in here. So when you place down the stone forge, whichever direction you're looking is where it will be placed. So as you see here, this is what it looks like. So you first have this uh, name stand which has stored metal, iron and then how much metal is stored. When you first place this down it will be empty but for the purposes of the video this is going to have iron in it. As you go round you have this which is a bellows. If you right click it you, it says 20 popping out and as you see over here this is the temperature of the forge. So every time you right click temperature on the right is the max temperature that increases. Temperature on the left which is the current temperature of the forge increases if this is higher than it. So if I just span this up to the max temperature which is 1920 this will slowly increase to match that and that slowly decreases all the time. And when this temperature on the left matches that they both go down together at the same time. So you want to always be keeping an eye on that making sure that it's a high enough temperature to melt your metal. Um, the melting temperatures of the metals are customizable in the config. So currently I have five in it, so if I release it, you get a little loading bar of how it's being released and it's going down. Currently I've got no mold in my um, forge, so it's just going to completely empty out so I can start fresh. Uh, while that's doing that, I'm going to show off these blocks here. This here is a leather station, it allows you to put leather in and get other types of items out so one leather will give you four leather strips and you can just keep taking it out decreases that and the durability of the knife these recipes are customizable so leather strips here is actually a binding for your tools the next block here is the carving station you put cobblestone in and a chisel again these can be uh, crafted and customized so five cobblestone will give you four cobblestone stairs and same if I put the cobblestone stairs back in I get my five cobblestone back. I'll go into this final block in a minute um, but that's to actually create your tools this is the advanced anvil. So with the stone forge you have a deconstruct which drops it gives it back to you and you can place it back down again. Um, your metal will be deleted obviously because you're you're destroying the forge but again for the purposes of the video it automatically fills it up for me so I can t uh, demonstrate it but the temperature does go up to the max temperature just so it's a little easier you then have these different upgrades so your anvil workbench and two furnaces if I give myself an anvil and a crafting table I can just demonstrate this you buy it it adds those blocks to the forge so if I deconstruct it put it back down it gives me that anvil and workbench back just so that it's basically a portable um, workbench and anvil and it's the same with furnaces I just won't bother showing them Next we have the upgrade forge. This costs 9 iron blocks because it gives me the iron forge. Um, I can give myself 9 of them. Upgrading the forge uh, gives you a visual upgrade so it makes it all iron. If I decon... oops that's not what I wanted. If I deconstruct it, now it gives me an iron forge and it gives it iron. But it also makes the, uh, the forge melt items faster and craft items faster which is very useful for when you're making more bigger um, costly things. Uh, next we have upgrade size this um, upgrades how much metal can be stored and visually it will make it taller so if I quickly give myself this so iron ingot, two iron ingots, five stone, two lava buckets and two glass, not 22 but oh well. So I buy that, it's now gone up in size and can store 10 litres. Currently you cannot convert these litres, um, that's the only 
measurement I currently have it in but for the temperature of the forge I have it in Celsius but there is an option in the config to have it in Fahrenheit that is just a visual um, change everything else is still done in Celsius just because that's the temperature I use so I understand um, current melting temperatures so if I wanted to melt some iron I give myself an ingot and a block so dropping an ingot um, the forge isn't hot enough obviously uh, let me just quickly deconstruct it and put it back and put the temperature up so if I drop an iron ingot forge is full oh it's currently got 10 litres yeah I've got it set to the max so I just empty it a bit just so I have enough to fill it up with this iron ingot and I'll stop it here drop that it now starts melting it and the more graded your forge the quicker this process will be so now I've got 8.9 in it if I carry on melting, uh, releasing it uh, I'll be able to show you how the iron ore works so this one this always takes the same amount of temp uh, time to melt but a different time to release so this one gave me two liters rather than the one that an ingot gave me just to give more incentive to melt your stuff in the forge and again the items that you can drop into the forge and the metal they give is completely customizable so I chose in the config to have a nine or give more than a nine block uh, in ingot sorry um, same with gold I can drop a gold thingy but it won't let me because firstly it's not hot enough and there's a different metal in it but if I completely empty this out I will be able to put gold in instead now you also have these which are molds these are what you put into the forge um, and it's the different tool heads for your tools so by default there's pickaxe, hoe, shovel, sword and axe um, you can add your own like the actual one I added was a chain link um, I will explain later what this is and then next in the chest we have a stick a reinforced stick and these are your handles so I do have some of these over here this is the advanced angle as I said um, different handles go here you have different bindings which bind the stick and the, the head of the pickaxe together so everything's now bound together with these leather strips and a stick and I have an iron pickaxe head already crafted but I'll quickly show you the other one and we have two chain links as well which are even better in the config you can change what each uh, handle does how durable they are how more likely they're going to break than others and then you also have gems now gems don't have a proper purpose apart from allowing you to add um, enchantments to your tool without having to go to an enchantment table um, I'll quickly craft this later so if I put the head in here there is a current glitch with the armor stand for some reason it's way back there it should be in here but by the, the release of this plugin that'll be fixed so don't worry about that so currently this is empty so if I drop this down here forge isn't hard enough let me take that out deconstruct it do keep in mind if you deconstruct your forge um, the metal stored in it is deleted and the mold in it is also deleted so as you see here it's, it's worked fine for some reason sometimes it glitches backwards but if I now release my metal into here this will create the pickaxe head mold this does go faster on um, more upgrades you have so I'm going to kill myself no gold blocks I will be able to upgrade this even more and when you every time you craft you have a little mini game it says here what to do in the chat but you have to sneak or jump to determine the quality of the metal so this little blue thing that's going along you want to make sure it reaches the middle oh I just missed it but that means it was fine and currently it's molten and now it's an iron pickaxe head as soon as you craft an item you want to put it onto this um, anvil here and you have an item called a hammer which you right click when this eye is on there if I let me let me grab a shovel here and as you see this one's going a lot faster because it's less metal and it's more upgraded but if I do this, pick it up, put it in there, craft it as you see this one says quality flawless this one says quality fine but there's no this one says crafted 0% this one doesn't say crafted um, that's because I didn't do that hammering system on the first one 
meaning now it will have less durability because I didn't hammer it into proper shape. But this one will have a higher durability than normal because of that process I just did. There are extra steps um, that I've added to the plugin just to make the, the crafting system a bit more unique and more fun and it allows more customizable to your tools so each tool you make will be completely different to the last one even if you use the same the same tools. So now I have this shovel head, let me just I'll make a shovel for example. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna leave the iron pickaxe head in here for now and it's gonna create this iron pickaxe. Um, that's using a stick, two leather strips, and then the, iron, the flawless iron pickaxe head. Flawless means that it will have higher durability. So this current XP cost will be four to make this tool. The XP cost is in how many levels you have, and that's completely customizable in the config. Now, if you hover over your, your the item you're going to make, it will tell you um, a bunch of question marks. These will be the durabilities, and when the question marks are in brackets, that's the percentage chance for it to break when the durability is zero. So, if you've been mining and the the stick, for example, has no more durability, whatever the percentage of the break chance is, is the chance it will break every time you hit it after that zero durability point. And each one tells you also the quality of that part of the tool. Currently, these are all. Um, flawed because they they're just default items. Leather strips isn't a default item, but there's, it hasn't got a, a quality because you just put it into the leather crafter. But the iron pickaxe head, we we changed the quality of it by doing that little mini game. So this one says flawless. Now currently we can't see the current durability until we take it, and I don't have enough levels. So um, what's it called? Just do it here. Give myself some XP bottles. Make sure I'm high enough level and it's crafted. So now it has the durability and the break chances. So this one's not too bad. The pickaxe head has 500 durability. That's because we managed to get it to flawless. Um, the higher the quality, the more durability, and the lower the quality, the less, obviously. Again, the, the default durability is changed in the config so um, the different stages of of um, durability or, or quality sorry is flawed sturdy fine flawless legendary and flawed is the worst legendary is the best sturdy is the sort of the default uh, level uh, unless obviously your your tools were made in here so this would be flawed because it's just made without anything um, if your items are sturdy, then whatever the durability is in the config, that's the durability that will be used on the tool. Um, anything above that will be used as a little multiplier, so flawless as a higher multiplier. And therefore we got 500. Um, going back into here, we got the leather strips, two different bindings of leather strips with a different break chance each, even though they're the exact same item which we've used from the exact same uh, carving station, they have different durabilities and break chances because it's always random and the stick has 28. So now as we mine using the tool we just made, as I, as you see I've just quickly made some cobblestone so that we can mine it, you'll see the durability of this tool starts to go down. So every block I mine, each durability of the, the different parts of the item will start going down. The main durability of the iron pickaxe no longer goes down because it's all handled using these individual items. So as you see here, the stick is currently at one durability, so one more um, break of a block will turn the stick into a zero durability um, part of this tool. And as you see it says part of your tool now has no more durability and may break soon. So if we take a look here, the stickers has zero durability and has a break chance of 30%. That means from that block we just hit onwards, um, it has a 30% chance to break. So that one was still safe. That one was still safe. Oh, and finally it broke. So that was quite lucky how long it lasted. So as you see, we got our two level strips. We didn't get our iron pickaxe head, but that's because of a small bug, which I have literally just fixed just now. So we should get our, our tool head back, and it should also say the durability and the break chance. Um, actually, there is no break chance for a pickaxe head, just because it would make it a bit unfair. They break no matter what. So leather strips 
um, we've got them back. So now we can reuse these leather strips. Um, let's use the pickaxe head again and we're missing a single stick. So let's use this stick and we can grab this and now you can see that the leather strips durability are automatically shown on the, the little information because we already know what the durability of those will be. So if I make that, it now reuses the old leather strips that we had and we can get back to mining. And as you see here, that head was actually a fine head. So we only have 375 durability now rather than the 500 we had before. So that's the, the main basics of how to make a new tool. Um, as you can see, all of the stuff I just did was customizable. The metals are customizable, the crafting recipes are customizable, the different molds are customizable, the handles are customizable, the bindings are customizable, and all of that can be put into here. Currently, um, there's only tool crafting mode, so you can make um, swords, pickaxes, shovels, axes, hoes, whatever you want to make for tools. I will be adding armor soon, so when you click this, it will change to the other modes. Um, so armor will be another mode and perhaps a, a tool repair possibly will be a mode that you can um, repair your tools in. So that was a quick rundown of this plugin. Uh, I hope you enjoy it if you get it. And I'll be doing another video very soon if it's not already up on the this bigger page um, on how to customize the plugin as much as you can. I tried to do this video as quick as I can, so sorry if it's been a bit fast, but I just wanted to sort of show all the features quickly and display it all. I know there were a couple of bugs which you may or may not have noticed, but um, they will all be fixed by the actual release of this plugin. I'm just doing it a bit early, so all the information is on the, the Spigot page when this plugin is released. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the, the plugin.